Hello guys, today I am going to show you, show you how to solve the problem of disk scheduling algorithm. Disk scheduling algorithm has a real life, real life example on CD-ROM which has a read-write capability of something which is not going to be explainable. So this algorithm, this algorithm explains the property of this uh, explain the property of CD-ROM read-write capability. So given we have given some q that is 95 180 180 34 119 11 123 62 64 these are the some numbers that we have given so the given q is this and read that head is initially at the track 50 and trial track being at 119 so 119 is the last position and 0th is the first position so we have given what we have given the head moment of 50 we had given the head positions of 50 so what is so now now let's start with the first come first serve first come first serve explain how how the incoming process how the incoming request is served first and then the next incoming processes then next incoming request serve the next and we have 50 50 given that that is this this is the 50 is given and then the next is 95 95 in the queue according to fcfs then 180 then 34 then 119 then 11 uh, then 11 then 123 then 62 then 64 this this all tracks is in uh, according to the first algorithm that is FCFS. So FCFS FCFS has some disadvantages. Uh, disadvantages is that that algorithm lowers the efficiency by trailing by going every part of the every part of the graph. So the the head moment the total head moment is 640, which is much higher. It should be minimum. So, so how we how we can calculate it? So now now let's take now now let's let's calculate the FCFS and we have given so how to calculate? So we can calculate it by 95 minus 50 the track position from 50 to 95. We can calculate by doing like this: 95 minus 50 plus 180, 180, 180, 180, 180 plus this 95. So, sorry, uh, 180 minus 95, and by and by doing this, so on, we can get the track total track moment of 640. So by going to the next algorithm, the next algorithm is SSTF, so shortest seek time first. The shortest seek time first is an algorithm which which gives the request, which uh, provides the which gives the which provides the request closer to it. That is one uh, the head moment is 50, head moment is 50, and which is uh, it 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 provides the request to the minimum uh, which is closer to it the 50 is closer to 34 or 62 the difference is calculated and 50 is closer to 62 then it goes to 62 the track is going from 50 to 62 and then a track is going from 62 to 64 which is minimum which is closer to 62 and then 64 to 34 then from 34 to 11 then from 11 to 95 uh, 95 and then so on uh, so the shortest seek algorithm tells it it takes the minimum value closer to the head moment given in the question so the track total track moment is 236 which is lesser than the above, algor above algorithm that is FCFS 236 is slightly smaller than 640 so uh, again it has some disadvantages 
shortest seek time for as also some also has some disadvantages in it so to overcome these advantages these advantages the elevator scan comes into the picture so elevator scan is just like an elevator when we use an elevator to move from ground floor to uh, suppose 6th floor when you press the button of 6th floor you move from uh, ground floor to 6th floor it serves the incoming request by going up and then a uh, request uh, and, and then serves the request by going down and then away so it uh, suppose 50 is the head movements that we consider it as ground floor and we have to go to something like this place huh? it serves the request almost at the end at the, the let's focus on this this is the zeroth location where it scores and request and serves the request according to this so it goes to zero 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 and then serves the request according to the uh, given we have given in this algorithm and serves the request according to the given and it goes to 180 it will not go to 199 the extreme of the track extreme of the track so it will go to 180 because elevator scan scans the algorithm from 50 to uppermost and then serves the request according at to the last position of 180 that is given in the example so it has it, it has it has total head movement of 230 230 is the 230 is also lower than scan or the upper algorithm that is SSTF which is 236 which is slightly minimum to it and then the algorithm comes C scan C scan algorithm is the which we called as which is which we also called as circular scan this circular scan its uh, its head movement goes from circularly from extreme left to extreme right the dotted line dip shows that there is no movement in this part and we also we do not calculate we, we do not calculate the extreme part of this so uh, this uh, this 199 minus 0 we don't take, take take this in solving the sums so this is the 50 50 and then 34 it goes to extreme left to no movement and then extreme right so the head movement is 187 so it is slightly smaller than scan algorithm and we have some look algorithm c look algorithm is a higher version of c scan algorithm c scan algorithm moves from extreme left to extreme right but this, this c look scheduling algorithm moves from slightly lower than this not from extreme but from 11 to 180 this is the main point that you have to focus on 11 to 180 means that this is not going from extreme 0 to extreme 199 of total head total tax given on the screen total head movement is 157 which is smaller than this 150 187 and the last algorithm we gonna show you is slope algorithm look scheduling algorithm which we we are uh, which we are not providing in this video but uh, i will uh, i will explain you this look scheduling algorithm is similar to scan scheduling algorithm the only difference is that the only difference is that that in elevator scan we move from 50 to 0 50 to 0 but in loop algorithm we move we move this head from 50 to 11 and then go on to 180 this is the main point that you have to focus on 180 and then this algorithm this loop algorithm is tightly similar but the main difference is that it goes from it it, it serves the request to extremes 0 but in loop algorithm we go from 50 to 11 and then requesting and then serving the request according to the path so 
this algorithm has that we are completed if uh, if you like my video then subscribe and thank you guys